Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And it's the day where wargaming are coming for your wallets. That's because the loot boxes for 2021's holiday ops are available for the first time. Today, I'm going to be opening up 50 of the four kinds of boxes on my main account to open a total of 200 loot crates to give you an idea of what of your what are your chances of getting gold, premium time credits. Some of the styles and especially the three new vehicles which are exclusive inside them now full disclosure these 200 loot boxes have been provided to me for free from wargaming but to make sure that i effectively pay for them myself i'm going to be donating 300 dollars to cancer research and special effect which is a charity that helps those with disabilities to still be able to play video games during my annual fundraiser which is going to be next Friday. I'm going to be streaming from for 12 hours from 12 till midnight to raise money for those two worthy causes. So I really hope I see all of you there next week and hopefully we can add to the staggering total of $200,000 that we as a community have raised since 2013. Really proud of all of you. Thank you so much. So before I start opening loot crates, I really want to highlight what is my main motivation for this video, and that is to give all of you an idea of what is inside them. I'm going to be recording all of the contents that I get from the 200 boxes and then breaking it down with a summary for you like I did last year. So now I want to give a forward about what I think about loot crates inside video games. For me, they're abhorrent. They really blur the lines between a video game and gambling. The legality of these are firmly in question as you can't even buy these in Belgium and I think in China as well for World of Tanks to be selling them there. They actually have had to publish all of the results that you can get inside the loot crates. This is something that so far they have not had to do inside Europe and in North America but I truly hope that they eventually do. Now of course development of a game costs money and Wargaming as a company wants to make that. So it's understandable that they would want to explore new ways to generate revenue for the development of their cash cow. However, I'm the kind of person who wants to know absolutely everything about a purchase before I decide to pony up the money for it. And I, I hope that with this video, you're going to be in the same position. Now, if you want to know my detailed opinion of all of the content inside this box and also all of the styles, then you want to go and watch my video on Monday before you see me opening these loot crates. And my final point that I want to make inside this foreword is that I think that it is absolutely disgusting that the only way to be able to get two new tier eight premium tanks, which are incredibly sought after, is by gambling inside loot crates. Wargaming, I know I'm sounding like a broken record now, but I'm not going to give up. Please do the right thing. Please make them available separately for even a $50 price tag. Don't force people to gamble to be able to get content that they may or may not want to be able to try and have the one in 100 or one in 200 chance of being able to get what they actually want. Fortunately, now I'm in the lucky position where Wargaming have given me early access to these vehicles so I can let you know about them before the loot crates came out. But I've had stories from viewers, from members of the World of Tanks community saying that they've spent $300, $400 on loot crates and not ended up getting the tank that they wanted. So please, ladies and gents, know that there's no guarantee, even if you buy hundreds of these boxes, that you are going to get one of these tanks if that what your clear goal is. But I'm hoping that by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of what you're going to be getting for your money. All right, so first up, I'm going to be opening up the large New Year boxes. And I'm going to open them up one at a time for now. But after you see how long these animations take, um, yeah, we might have to start opening up five at a time. Okay, so we get a level one decoration. Good result. 250 gold in a day of premium. It's not so good for pretty much the one and a half dollars that I spent on that loot box. But hey, we're just getting started, right? All right, what's in box number two? Give me some good stuff. Oh, seven days of premium account. And oh, I got the mouse style. That's lucky. I do like this one. Look at this behemoth. Wow, really cool animations as well. You see it kind of getting welded on to the mouse. I think it could have only been better if they'd had some sound effects as well, but I think that might have been going too much. Okay, yeah. Let's take a look at this mouse style. This is the first chance I've actually had to take a look at the Land Cruiser. Okay, we're going to apply it to our tank. Should we go and take a look? I want to view this style. No, just let me look at the tank. It's uh, just let me look at the tank inside the garage. Come on. Ow! Oh, the escape key isn't even working. There we go. Oh, there it is. There's my beautiful boy. Oh, thank goodness my free cam works. Oh, my lord. Now, I know that you probably can't improve perfection. 
The stock mouse. Well, not the stock mouse, but should we say the standard mouse? Probably with a fitting German paint job is kind of perfection. But I don't know, ladies and gents. This thing does look pretty gnarly. So apparently people were telling me this is actually a Goliath mine on the back of the vehicle. I thought it looked like a Kettenkrad in the video, but I guess my analysis wasn't exactly in there. Ooh, I think this one's a juicy one. I'm going to be taking this out onto the battlefield later, I think. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep flowing. What do we got now? Three days of premium? Not what we wanted. All these animations are quite long, but I guess when you're spending a dollar and a half, you'd kind of expect that. Oh, thank goodness for that. I got the other new vehicle that I didn't actually have inside my garage, the M4A1 FL10. So that's a tier six French autoloading medium tank. And while I didn't know on Monday, it looks like it has a 1.75 second intra clip reload. So stay tuned as I'm gonna be playing this later on Twitch today. And you're probably gonna have a tank review of that one coming on the channel tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be ending up releasing two videos today. That's pretty hardcore. Okay, I got 100,000 credits and 250 gold. I think that's probably the worst result that you can get from one of the loot boxes. I'd be pretty disappointed if that was what we were getting. Oh god, these premium days. Well, at least I got a mouse style and I got the new tank that I wanted. So actually the gold price for that vehicle is 3,300 gold. So you know what? Opening up a tank and getting 3,300 gold is never a bad result. Okay, so we got another M4 FL10 and as you can see it actually gives you an additional garage slot. So that's pretty funky. Wow. D d nice to get um, two of the one that I actually wanted from these loot boxes right at the beginning. So it looks like you can also just get 500 gold and no premium time. So I guess you're guaranteed to get 250 and you can possibly get an extra 250 on top of that. Level one decoration, ugh, 750. So you can actually get 500 gold on top. But again, for a dollar and a half, I wouldn't trade a dollar and a half for 7,500 gold. Yeah, we're starting to get a more realistic idea. All right, how many boxes are we into now? We've we've opened up 10 boxes. This is about $15 in value. Sorry, make that 12 boxes. We're getting a lot of gold, but have we got a tier eight premium tank yet? No, we have not got a tier eight premium tank yet. I wonder how long it's going to be until we get our first tier eight premium tank, because that's really one of the most important marks for all of these. Oh, that's not a tier eight pre premium tank. I thought a tier 10 style though. That's pretty cool. We get the WZ111 5A style. Ooh, look at the flamethrowers on the front of the tank. Got the bags on the back. Got a little a cage for the, where the crew can go and chill. And we've got nice little um, concealment breaker to break the, the straight lines. Because straight lines are bad for concealment slash camouflage. Easily spotted. And even what looks like, are those some bamboo canes? Stalks? What are you meant to call those? You just call them bamboo on the side? That's pretty nice. Quite happy to get the WZ111 5A style. That was in our 14th box. So it's taken us four boxes to be able to get two styles. So this style is called the Last Dragon with those flamethrowers on the front. If only they could actually work, that'd be pretty gnarly. I like the kind of the dragon motif all the way across the top. I'm sure that people who love the WZ111 5A are going to like this. Again, wish these styles were available outside the loot boxes, but what are you going to do? All right, let's get back into it. Still waiting for when we're going to find our first tier eight premium tank. And it's not today. 100,000 gold. Worst possible result. Ah, oh, man. I'm, I'm, I was wondering if Wargaming would go, ugh, we're going to use the reroll mechanism like they had done for the Waffenträger Alf E100 event during Halloween. Hey, we got a Matilda Black Prince. Not bad though, 1,750. It's definitely not the best result that you're gonna get inside your loot boxes, but could be worse than getting 1,750 gold. Well, we know that for a fact, because you can sometimes get 250 or you can get 100,000 credits. Well, so far, not so good from a perspective of trying to get the big boy tank. Ew, we don't want another T-15. That's not exactly what we want. That was our 19th box that we got another T-15. You get 900 gold compensation. Not really what I think a lot of people are going to be going for. Three days of premium account. Yeah, okay, come on. Come on now. Let's get some heat going. But it's early days. It's early days. It's early days, right? We are now 10% of the way through our 200 box opening. And I am most likely... I mean, what I want to do is just... I was thinking that I was just going to get all the styles by opening them up one by one by one and then start to open them up five so I can just get the data. Gosh, can you imagine that? Clicking that button if you're opening five boxes at the same time. That's that's the efficient capitalist way, right? Opening up five boxes at the same time, probably about like, I don't know what it is, about seven and a half dollars a pop. Why am I getting all these T15s? I don't want these T15s. I seem to be getting more T15s than I'm getting anything else. 
That's to be understand that's understandable though, because you do get those little baby tanks more than you get the big boy tanks. Otherwise, these would be far more lucrative than they actually could be. Or should be. Not should be. I think that look, here's the deal. I'm kind of spoiling. I'm jumping to the conclusion already. But I I do think that if you need the gold and you need the premium time, that these boxes are a pretty good way to be able to get that around the Christmas period. My argument, however, though, is that there's going to be a lot of people who maybe have a lot of gold inside their garage. And let's be honest, gold doesn't really feel like the premium currency that it once was. It, there are, there's now bonds, which are very much more sought after. And it feels as if sometimes just completing missions or being able to get through ranked is now way more valuable than the actual gold is in the first place. Whoa, we got a Borask. That's our first tier eight. 7,600 gold for me, but I guess a lot of people would be very excited. Okay, so it took me 32 boxes, about $50, to be able to get the Borask. So far, I haven't had any of the, the two new exclusive tier 8s, but that's really good to get a tier 8 premium. I'll take 7,600 gold compensation. Do you know one thing I just realized? The Borask, at its gold value, is incredibly... There it is! There's the Basante! Oh, there we go. Okay, so it took me... 34 crates to be able to get the Basante. And do you see that roll of the dice? Right? 10,200 gold. This is what's absolutely ridiculous about these loot crates. Imagine if you'd bought 30. This actually just sounds straight up like gambling right now. I sound like I'm kind of like putting more money on a on in a roulette wheel or something. Like imagine if you'd kept going. Imagine if you'd kept playing. You know, it's absolutely disgusting. But in our first 30 boxes... We got two out of the five new styles. Um, we managed to get ourselves a whole bunch of vehicles that we didn't really want, apart from the M4A1 FL10. But then the next four boxes after that, we got two tier 8 premiums, including the Basante, which is the one that a lot of people will want. That's the first Italian auto-reloading heavy tank. And I expect that we're going to be seeing a lot of them on the battlefield today. So hopefully you've watched my reviews. Hopefully you watched the GSOL review, which I recorded yesterday and then released early in the morning today. I think it was about 6 a.m. in the UK, old boy. I'm going to be um, making this one during the day today to be able to release. So every when everyone gets home from their hard hard work or... Wait a minute, we're all at home anyway. When you, when you finish off the computer and then you go onto the computer to play your video games that you'll be informed about spending your... Your hard-earned money, right? That's what it's all about. Okay, so 40 boxes in. Two tier 8 premiums so far. Usually the chance of getting a tier 8 premium is usually about... I think from the previous years it was roughly about 5%. So we're pretty much about bang on as to what we should be for odds. I'm a little bit worried that I'm not getting these styles, to be fair. Like, we are... We're now 40-odd boxes in. And we've only got two out of the five styles. And remember, I have all the other styles. So I guess if I have all of the other styles, then that suggests that I would have more chance to get the new styles because I've got less chance of getting the old styles. Be really interesting to see if that works. I got a thousand gold. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's not exactly the congratulations that I want. I mean, this is this is really like, can you imagine the face? They're like, congratulations, you've won the the the, the worst prize. <laughs> 100,000 credits and 250 gold. Yeah, can I have my one and a half dollars back? No, no, you can't. It's in the game now. It's gone through. That's life, right? Ah, the banter, the banter. Actually, I'd say that a premium time is... No, the, a premium day is better than 100,000 gold, especially for a player who needs the premium time. But really, the, the boogie prize is that... Uh, 1,000. Is it a bogey prize? Bogey prize. Like the bogey prize. Not a boogie prize. It's not like the prize is going to suddenly start jumping up and doing a bit of a jig. All right. So that is going to be my 50th box opened. Are we going to get another style? No, we're not. That's it. That was 50 boxes. Roughly about $75. And while we managed to get the Basante, which is definitely lucky for only having to have purchased 50 boxes, we haven't seen the G-Saw yet. Okay. So in the interest of not making this video about 45 minutes long, now I'm going to open five boxes at a time boys and girls box one 250 gold wow this is a much more manageable format i'm just going to jump to the other side of the screen so oh my lord uh, let's be honest that is actually disgusting in fact i'm going to print screen that because that's pretty horrible it's literally the worst possible result for like the, well this is the worst absolute worst possible result this is the second 
worst result. Or maybe the 500,000 credits would be the worst, but that's disgusting. Okay, this is going to be so much faster. Oh, oh yeah. Oh dear. Wargaming, what have you done? Yeah, they've put in a CGC style. I look forward to the people getting these and filling the matchmaker. Oh, the way that it points its gun towards you. Oh, man. That was pretty gnarly. Oh. Okay, so looks like those five boxes were actually a lot more lucky because just as I wanted to go back into the garage to show you, we're going to have to take a look at the SDB1 style as well. I'm really happy to get these because these are some of the unique content that I actually need on this account. I don't need the gold. I don't need the premium time right now. But to be able to have this is actually pretty funky. I'm quite happy. I think the Wargaming have done a great job with the styles. The only thing that I would like is if these styles... We're not actually um, they're forcing you to gamble to be able to get. So let's have a quick fly around the SDB1. So we've got a searchlight on the front, a machine gun on the top. We've got some extra boxes on the back. We've got what looks like some fire extinguishers. That exhaust new? Or is it just they've embellished on the exhaust? Or am I just seeing that for the first time? I don't know. Am I crazy? All in all, I think this is a pretty darn good looking style. But I'm not sure. I think I like the Sakura Cherry Blossom on this vehicle as well. All right, it's time to get filthy. I guess the plow is on the front so you can dig up the souls of your opponents after you've smashed them into the afterlife with this absolute monster caliber gun that's on the front of this vehicle. All in all, I think it does look a really, like a really cool skin. Although it's kind of giving me a little bit of stress when I look at it because I remember bidding 2,601 gold on the skin to get the object 261 during the last uh, black market event. Ah, uh, this one didn't cost me that much gold, but I guess it kind of cost me a lot in with regards to the the sanity that I'm going to have to put up with as I'm getting hit by these later on the battlefield as people are going to be wanting to try out their new styles. What do we got here? That's not what we want. Seven and a half dollars. This is scary. I'm literally putting seven and a half dollars, but it's going to charity anyway, so it's not really too much of a big deal. Yay. Oh, that's really good. Another T15 came in box number 70. Man, we're going through these boxes very quickly and we're not getting too many tanks, but at least we're getting a style. This is my favorite tech tree heavy tank, a vehicle which I love to play in ranked, especially on my free to play account. This one is the daddy of HE and to have that hold down capacity oh I've always wanted it to look just a little bit more special and hopefully it certainly will so nothing more from those boxes let's go take a look at the Lewandowski go ah oh, there he is well there she is the Lewandowski go can be whatever they want to be what a beauty oh I like this oh I like this extra storage on the barrel what have we got here some track links is that some chain mail on the vehicle or some kind of net? I don't know. Obviously, it's Polish. I always think about Polish knights and winged hussars and all of that kind of stuff. So I was expecting maybe that the Wargaming would put a bit of an Easter egg to that on it. What is that? Is that a tree fella? That is a very meaty looking chainsaw. Why am I thinking about something from Warhammer for that? Wow, it's got the Najedzia, or however I meant to say that on the side of the vehicle. All right, yeah, I think this one is pretty fetching. I'm a bit disappointed I'm never going to have this on my free-to-play account, however. Oh dear, that's just the free-to-play woes. All right, let's continue with our large Christmas box openings. Whoa, we got ourselves a locust. Yay, so good. Really happy to have a locust. Well, these boxes have been incredibly disappointing. I've only had two premium tanks make that three premium tanks in all of them and they've all been super low tier that's crazy that we've opened up 35 boxes and we're getting absolute trash out of these boxes utter trash how quick is this this is outrageously fast utter trash not a single tier this is 75 dollars that we've spent on these christmas boxes we get a Matilda Black Prince on the last box. Well, I can tell you, compared to the luck that we had with the New Year boxes, where we managed to get a Borask, a Basante, and two M4A1 FL10s, we got absolutely mugged for that last set of 50 boxes. All right, let's move on to the large Luna boxes. Maybe we're going to have some more luck on this one. Oh. No. Oh, dear. Oh, 
dear. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we've got another Basante. Our second Basante, but still no G-Saw. So that's two Basante so far in 106 boxes. Not too bad if you really want the Italian Auto Reloading Heavy Tank. But remember, it's all luck. And this is actually disgusting. Why is this happening? Why is this actually happening? This was about seven and a half dollars every time I click this button right now. I mean, it's not so bad for me because obviously we're donating the money to charity. But I can tell you if this was my own money and I spent seven and a half dollars on this. I mean, if you need the gold, sure. But as I said, gold isn't even really that useful in World of Tanks these days. Gold is used to buy premium time, garage slots, and I guess tanks when they do come up inside the... The, the advent calendar, for example. This is actually really quite poor compared to what I thought it was going to be. All right, another five it is. Man, you can get through these very quickly compared to last year, which is a godsend. I have to admit, trying to fill the video with quacky baby rambling can be incredibly challenging when the animations are just so darn long. But that, again, I'd say... Sure, I guess I got a Basante, but that once again was a seriously disappointing set of boxes. We got one tier 8 premium and two other little low tier vehicles that really didn't make too much difference in 50 boxes. All right, here we go. The final 50 coming up. What's in the box? What's in the box? So a premium day, 250 gold, 100,000 credits, 500,000 credits in a premium day. Terrible. Bad value, in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for tanks and also if you're looking for gold, I'm sorry, but this year is actually incredibly poor. Even with those two, it doesn't really make that much difference when you're getting these little baby reward tanks that just are kind of just filler. I'm also really disappointed that there's no extra crew member that I've managed to find so far. Maybe Wargaming will be giving it to us in other ways. This is legit awful. Am I having a bad run? Should I be opening the boxes one by one by one again? Obviously, it won't make any difference. Oh, there it is. Oh, my Lord. It had to happen. Somebody at Wargaming Department was quickly like, uh, well, QB's having bad luck in his video. Oh, you actually kidding me now. QB's having bad luck in his video. Quickly, send him the good luck. Somebody's there just like tapping away. And they don't give me one, but they give me two G-Saws within two boxes of each other. I can tell you the absolute disparity between getting uh, pretty much about 20,000 gold and the brand new reward vehicle compared to getting this. Like, can you, can you see how this basically is just gambling? I know you can say, well, it's all luck and it's not gambling because you get the base value. You get the 250 gold, right? <laughs> but just, yeah, come on. Do you think people are really buying these loot crates to get 250 gold? No, they're buying these loot crates to have the chance to be able to get the 9,000 gold. And to put this into perspective, this is worth the equivalent of 36 of the regular loot crates. That's absolutely sickening when you think about it. That, you know, we had a bad run for 50 crates. We had another bad-ish run for 50 crates, although we do get the Basante. And then in the next five crates, to be able to get effectively 70 crates worth of gold in three crates is just... Ah, oh, it's just mind-boggling. Well, let's continue. Maybe this is my good luck run where we're going to now find out that we actually had really good times. Nope. Three more sets of five to go. Seven and a half dollars. Cha-ching. Matilda Black Prince. Not the one that we wanted. Oh, that on the other hand is... Hello, Mr. Basante. Has anyone noticed that we haven't had a single ISU-152K so far? So there are four tier 8 premium tanks inside these loot boxes. There's the ISU-152K, there's the Basante, there's the Borask, and there's the G-Saw. And think about it this way. Imagine if instead of getting two Basantes and two G-Saws like I've had, I got, you know, two ISU-152Ks, but no Basantes, even after we've opened 190 boxes. Definitely puts things into perspective. That is actually a locust. Great. That's really what I wanted. Just what I've always wanted, a locust. All right, here we go. The final five boxes. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to open these one by one by one. Okay, come on. Maybe we'll get really good luck if we open them one by one by one for the last five. What do you think, YouTube? <laughs> Apparently not. The worst possible result to start... <laughs> not worst possible result to start off our final five boxes. I'd say that's probably the second or the third possible result. Hmm. Oh, come on, baby. 
Oh, the worst possible result. Maybe I should have gone back to opening them in fives. I don't even know, dude. I literally sound like a gambler right now. <laughs> 250 gold. It could be worse, I guess. It's better than getting a day of premium, at least. Now that I've set a day of premium. Ah, there you go. That's it. Some gold right at the end. And that is how easy it was to open up about $300 in value inside World of Tanks. All right, so now for the summary. What does opening 200 boxes, which will cost about $300, get you inside the Holiday Ops loot crates? Well, I got 143,250 gold, 8.8 .8 million credits, and 165 days of premium, meaning that roughly each box in gold value is 716, 44,000 credits, and 0.82 days of premium. So if we were to look at that from a gold perspective, i.e. going on the Wargaming website and just to buy a load of gold, these loot boxes are actually pretty darn good value. But I would never recommend that anyone actually ever buys gold, raw gold, in World of Tanks because usually there are special discounts and special bundles that you could manage to pick up. Nobody buys things at full price in video games, right? You wait for it to be on a 20%. 30 or hopefully 50% sale. And if you're like me and your account is getting a little bit long in the tooth, I've got half a million gold on this account now after this. I really don't need that. I don't need the 8.8 .8 million credits that I received. I could grind that out in four or five hours by just activating a credit booster and playing some premium tanks. The premium time, usually you can buy about a year of premium for roughly about 40 or 50 dollars so i'd put that down to about like a 25 or 30 dollar value meaning are these loot crates truly the be all end all of absolute smashing value in world of tanks yeah sure i guess it's better than going and buying paltry amounts of gold off the website with absolutely no discount but for at least for the amount of luck that i had it doesn't really feel like the be all end all of, of my recommendations so now let's talk about the premium vehicles that i received the m22 locust i got four of them and it was 27 boxes until i got one t15 i got six of them 14 boxes until i received one matilda black prince i got five of them and it was 17 boxes until i received i didn't actually manage to get a t78 in the 200 boxes that we opened up and so if you're expecting you were pretty much guaranteed to be able to get at least one of all of the premium vehicles well that's not the case i managed to get two of the m4a1 fl10s which i'm very happy about i would have been pretty darn frustrated if the one tank that i didn't have in my garage before i opened up these two loot crates that i didn't have in my garage afterwards and look that's a reality because we didn't get a single ISU-152K out of the 200 boxes that we opened up. Now, while we got fortunate that we got the Borask, which is usually a tank that people would would want, we got two GSAW 1008s and we got three Basante C45s. Please consider that there was just as much likelihood that we got three ISU-152Ks and no Basante C45s, as has happened to me multiple times throughout my history of unboxing these loot crates over the years. In previous years, we've opened up 200 loot crates and not got the new premium vehicle. And if that happened to me after I ponied up $300 on a video game, I'd feel like an absolute mug. And would the amount of gold and the amount of credits and the amount of premium time give me some kind of satisfaction? No, not really. Now, if you're in it to just get the skins because you have everything else that you want and you don't really care about the two new vehicles, but you absolutely love styles in World of Tanks, then it actually took me 72 boxes or about 100 to $120 in value to be able to get all the skins. And I'm not sure if I got unlucky or I got lucky. I guess that's what a game of chance is all about. But if we compare it to the previous year where I had to open up 123 boxes before I got all of the skins, just be careful, you might have to open up hundreds of boxes to be able to get all the skins. You might have to open up hundreds of boxes to get that specific tier 8 premium tank that you wanted. Be very careful, because unless you want the gold, or you want the premium time, and you want the credits, and you're going to be happy with getting that this holiday season, and you treat every other aspect of the reward that you get as a cherry on top, which is definitely how Wargaming want to present this, I think you're all in all going to be incredibly disappointed. And I'd like to finish the, the video pretty much as I started. Wargaming, I implore you. I have no problem with loot crates inside video games as long as there is a fail-safe mechanism so that if you get really unlucky, that you can get the vehicle that you wanted. I see two possible options for this. One, give some kind of dust that you also get from the loot boxes and if you've got enough of it then you can still purchase the one that you really wanted 
maybe make people, if you have to make people buy 100 or 200 boxes to be able to get enough dust to be able to buy one of the premium tanks that they wanted as like a fail safe, I look at that as a clean way to be able to protect the player base. Or why don't you just make them available at the same time for 50 or $60 inside the premium shop and so that people can decide. Gamble to have a, a chance of not getting the vehicle, but possibly getting it and also getting a lot of gold, or just doing the safe route. Take your $50 and get what you actually want for it, which is, I believe, how life should be. And I know I've said this before, but it just still absolutely baffles me that there is a video game company out there that would not want their customers to have the opportunity to pay them $50 or $60 for a brand new vehicle, which is not too different to a lot of the vehicles that are already in the game. Anyway, ladies and gents, Hopefully you appreciated all the effort that I went through to be able to run the statistics so you can have a better idea of what you're going to be getting from your loot crates if you choose to purchase them this year. If you appreciated it and you enjoyed the video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. But if you absolutely hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments down below what you think about the kind of rewards that you get from the boxes. Do you think that it's fair? Do you think that it's not quite good enough? What do you think about the chance that you might not be able to get the tier 8 premium that you want even if you spend $300? And do you think it's right that Wargaming are releasing new content in a video game with literally a one or a one and a half percent chance if you give them a dollar and a half that they're going to give it to you? Anyway, stay tuned to the channel. I've got a tank review of the M4A1 FL10 coming right up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.